Esta es la canción de introducción de Suave Otaku Y sé que no es muy larga, pero espero que disfruten de este video What is up, people? I've got a box Oh, and I've got a cup Now I've got a cup. Wow, that's going, it's almost gone. That's shocking. With whiskey in it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it while I open the box. But it's not just any box, just like, it's not just any cup. Mm. Smooth. Hold on a second while I put my tooth in. It was soaking in pollen overnight. It's a long story. Basically, my baby tooth refused to come out. I tried to, it wouldn't come out. And it lasted a long time and finally, my narcissist, my inner narcissist got the best of me and said, Soft Otaku, that's what my inner narcissist calls me of course, you should do put something on that so that it's the same size as your other teeth. So I did and then it broke of course right away. And uh, my adult tooth is like up in my hard palate somewhere and it's silly expensive and maybe not even possible to get it down without eh, anyway so i just made what they call or had made for me odekake dencha which is just something i slip right on so before he after he hey look at that that's easy whoa no secrets no secrets all right <coughs> apparently i'm in a weird mood so this box is not approximately, exactly this big. This big, okay? And it came from George, or Jorge. It's unit Colima. And if I haven't told you already, let me tell you now. I haven't even told my boss this yet at the time that I'm recording this, but who knows how long it'll be after I record it before it goes up. Um, I'm planning to move to the US, I don't know for how long, from Japan. I'll be coming back periodically to Japan, but uh, just there's too much stuff to deal with in the US so I, uh, I have to figure out <laughs> how to get everything back. Throwing away furniture and stuff is one thing but I don't know if you knew this, I have a massive game collection. I mean including consoles and everything so it's gonna be uh, quite a production to ship it but uh, I'm just kinda trying to take it slow and here's a note but it says boobs on it. Boobs. It is clearly after the 2013 haul. Okay. Focus on that. Hmm. Yep, I'm thinking that could be a thumbnail. Now this is a hanger, which is there, because I'm actually filming this from my medicine cabinet. Huh. <laughs> because that's how I roll. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be better if my medicine cabinet wasn't in the video. But, whatever. And stuff. <laughs> Ah, anyway, let's read this note. Don't ask me what time it is. It's 1.15 in the afternoon. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, or 5.15 anyway. Alright, so this says boobs. It is clearly after the 2013 holidays. Boobs, okay. It's folded weird. I don't know what's going on. Um, what in the world? Okay, it says, What's shaking, softy? Anthony, here is the second box of God knows how many haha. -ha. Hope all is well, and also I hope this reaches you before you leave for the States. Game on, buddy. Right, well, and it's got a drawing. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. I don't know how I like to see that. It says soft otaku there. Sorry if I just flipped, gave you the bird or whatever, but it was it was all in good fun. It was a friendly bird flying the friendly skies. Okay, set the note aside, find out what's in the box. I don't actually know what's in there, but I'm guessing something NES-y. Mm. Thanks again to Evo Haler for the uh, collectible mug. Number two. Oh yeah. All right, I'm running out of places to set stuff down. That's pretty much the story of my whole house, but 
All right, we got some newspapers and. All right, starting out one of the most rare uh, NES games. Actually, I'm amazed that he sent this to me. These are really hard to find, uh, but now I have one, so that's pretty awesome. If you haven't guessed already, it's Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Sweet. I have one, but it's painted red, and that doesn't count. Next is ooh, a Super NES game, Donkey Kong Country. Nice. Next, oh my head, another one. Um, did you mean to do that? <laughs> uh, dude, he sent me another Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, but this one has a white case, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what's going on there, but this is the game that got me into console gaming hardcore pretty much the first time around. And, uh, yeah, man. Nintendo. It's a cereal! Nintendo. Does anybody remember that? I ate that. It wasn't the best, but I guess it was sugary, so a lot of kids probably liked it. Wheel of Fortune! I kind of wish that I had memorized the whole Rain Man thing before making this video. Type it in on YouTube. Rain Man. Wheel of Fortune. And he just does the whole thing. And... <sighs> Next. Oh, wow. This is in a... Oh, right. Yeah, we talked about... This is... We talked about a lot of stuff. This is kind of a shooter, and I felt like I should have this to go with my... um. I'm trying to complete, or I pretty much have completed my Sega Genesis <laughs> slash Mega Drive shoot 'em up collection. Super Smash TV. It's super, super. And there's the back. And then when you open it, it's got stuff inside. A game and a manual. Yeah. Whoa, I had a bit of a Sega Stoner moment there. Yeah. Okay. Next, more bubbles, more newspaper. Just going all over the floor. Nice. Wow. This is definitely a double if he sent it to me because he's a big fan of Rockman or Mega Man. Mega Man 2. Awesome game. Really hard. I remember when I rented it and I just... Ugh, when I was a, a wee one. Next. This is a unopened copy and an unopened copy of Grand Theft Auto 3. I remember the first time I watched somebody play this on the PlayStation 2 and I was blown away because at the time... It was so shocking. I couldn't believe that such a thing existed. Did I show you the back? I'm sorry. Back! There's the back. Like you've never seen a Grand Theft Auto game before. More, oh, what's this? Something small. Wow. Glad I'm kind of paying attention. This is a Game Boy Advance game, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. For the, yeah, I already said that. Okay, putting that there. And then here's some more something, something. What is this? Yes! Wow, all right then. Uh, I think I might ask somebody else. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I don't have it at this moment. Now I do. Or I didn't. Now I do. Mario Kart 64. North American version! Uh, so many memories playing this in university. <sighs> Thank you, G-Unit Kolima! What else have we? Oh, another North American game that was one of my favorites when I played N64 when it was the newest Nintendo console. Shadows of the Empire. I still think that my favorite level on that is my is the first level, but uh, okay, here we go. More shoot 'em up. Goodness. Now Mr. Dude 206 also sent me this. It didn't have the manual. So now I've got two and I don't care. I like having two. So there. It's Gadget Twins. And I think this one does have the manual. Definitely not my favorite shooter <laughs> on the Mega Drive or Genesis, but, you know, you gotta have it if you're going for all of them. All right, and I actually think this box might complete, I'm not sure, but I think it might complete my set. I'll have to do some research on that. Because, I say that because there are two more. This one. Viewpoint for the Genesis. Welcome to a beautiful but deadly world of shooting and strategy where annihilation happens in the blink of an eye. 
knowing when to attack and when to dodge are skills you will have to master quickly. You are the Bupo Fighter, navigating in a world of terror and wonder. Armed with fire bombs, humming bombs, shockwaves, and the ability to vary your shooting power, your mission is to successfully navigate six intense levels. Viewpoints non-stop arcade action makes the bosses get bigger and badder each level you progress. Think it's easy? Guess again! Just when you think you've mastered the movement, some new and exciting enemy stands between you and the next level. You know, I thought I'd mastered the movement. Mastered the movement. Until yesterday, when I was walking to the train station from, uh, from work, and I... Well, I think I had something bad on the plane. I'm not so sure I've mastered the movement. Flawless 3D polygon graphics. If only it had been 3D. Oh, man! Are so real, you may forget where reality ends and the game begins. Viewpoint changing the way you look at action games forever! Yes! Genesis does. Okay. So does Neo Geo. Now, I think this is the last dealio right here. And this one... I didn't do adequate research and I bought the Japanese version, it was cheap. But it doesn't have what this has. Arnold Palmer, Palmer Tournament Golf. And I learned from a game sack video that this, uh, let's see if I get it right. You have to look it up, but basically if you hit the ball a hundred times and then you like push some button combination, you get a version of Fantasy Zone on this. And I was like, oh, I gotta have that. And actually there's like... Advanced, some Batman or Superman games or something I want, but I, I'm okay if I don't ever get them, but I would like to get them eventually, so blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I got this from my shoot 'em up collection. <laughs> and uh, Jorge, or George, um, hooked me up with that. So, thank you very much. Um, nice variety in that one, and I'm off the kick camera. All right, so just for review, here's some Genesis games. And, uh, and the other stuff I showed you. So, thanks again. Try to keep the video short-ish. And I love you. Bye.